Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we have no new cars this update. And now with that, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map, and then I'll complete the rest of these challenges and check out this new car, which is called the Street Eagle. And the Nimbus 933 Extreme is back again, so if you want this, you can earn it again. Starting off with the first part, head over to this area right here, Drive World Customs. And right in the middle of this building, you'll see the first part. For the second part, head over to this race right here, Tunnel Sprint. And right on this ramp, you'll see the second part. For the third part, head over to this race right here, Hill Climb. And right in this small tunnel, you'll see the next part. And now for the second to last part, head over to this trailer delivery spot and cafe. And right in this tunnel, you'll see the next part. And if you follow down this tunnel and go to the end, you'll see that there is some new map expansions over here, which are going to come at a later date. And also heading down this road, you'll see the next part. And I'll put up the two pictures showing what this place looks like. And I think that this might all be changed to be Redwood. And I wonder how this new area is going to change up races like around the world. And with that, we actually don't have Japan parts, so I'm just going to grind the rest of these challenges. And there we go, we have completed all of these quests, and I want to explain how to do some of these so you can finish them faster. But first, let me claim them. Starting off with what I would first do is either going to 1 4th drag in Race World or doing the normal drag 3 4th in any of the maps. If you're doing 1 4th in Race World, then you're not going to be getting the speed traps, but I think the speed trap are so low this time that... You can finish them by just doing the drive score as well. So I think the fastest way would be doing 1 4th drag instead of 3 4th. And with Inferno then you'll want to do the around the world path and you'll want to drift at every corner you can. And this will help you earn the drift score, the speed traps, the drive, and the boost pads. And then you'll basically have every challenge except the stop signs challenge. And if you don't want to do the stop signs and the boost pads you don't need to if you already have the Nimbus Extreme because you only need five for the street eagle and the thing with the stop signs is you'll have to basically not do any of these other challenges and you'll just have to focus on the stop signs and here's the path i took to get as many stop signs as possible And then you'll just go around and repeat it again. And doing this path, you'll get around 20 stop signs. And that'll only take you around 10 times, and then you'll complete that quest. And now with that, let's get the Street Eagle and customize it.
And at max, it has a score of 792 and a horsepower of 1,364. And now let's check out the customizations. And it's only able to get around 300 miles per hour, but this might actually be pretty good in the 800 restriction range because that's the restriction of this car. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.